Hey guys, what's up? It's Alpharad, and this is another episode of A Story for Glory. And as you can tell, I'm using a Wiimote and Nunchuck. And I haven't done this ever. Like, when I got Brawl as a young kid in middle school, I had, I went straight to GameCube controller. I've never played Smash with a Wiimote, so this will be interesting. Um, I don't really know who I'm going to play. I think I'm going to go very simple character where I only have to use a few buttons. That's not the right name. Uh, there we go. Let's look. Mm, so many choices, but there's only one character in my heart that you only have to press a few buttons with, and that is the hero of everything. Because every Link's a hero in my book. And let's see who we are playing against. We have a we fit trainer without a tag. All right, and I'm trying to. Uh, all right, um, okay. Trying to learn these controls, and he's not moving. Um, okay. Looks like he is not there, but this is good for us because I'm not gonna lose my first game. I hope. Okay, uh, and I miss. He wasn't moving, and I missed my attack. Okay. Um, mit oh fuck, okay, no it's 30 seconds because you guys have taught me that after 30 seconds the player turned into a level 1 AI, so I really better not lose this because then you guys will laugh at me, and okay, alright, I'm getting a move there, and <laughs> that just looked funny, um, okay, uh, I'm trying to like attack him, but it's not working. I'm, um, there he goes, and, uh -oh. and he stuck the landing. Oh, I just need, to, uh, eh. I did side smash one into like F tilt. What was that? I meant to side smash, not up B. Okay, and maybe that's good enough. And he flies right over me, and I shot an arrow anyways. This is infuriating. Um, just push him off. I just got to push him off. That's the strategy. And he goes right over me. Uh, just, uh. Okay. And here he comes. Yeah. For all of you guys who say I suck, fuck you. Okay. Hopefully this is a real player this time. And we're playing against ZR, who is a fox. And we're going to start off with... Just shooting a few projectiles. I'm the only one who took damage, of course. And it looks like he actually knows how to play the game, because he's actually landing stuff on me, and I have yet to hit him once. Uh, and he jumped down. Hopefully he'll die. I meant to down tilt and turn around. This feels clunky, and I don't like it. Um, uh, I don't know how to grab, I just realized. I can shield grab, I guess. But that's not the most opportune thing. <laughs> what am I doing? Why did I turn around? Okay. Got him. No, I didn't. Nair? No, nothing comes out. Uh, that was an air dodge. I meant to jump, but okay. Uh, uh what am I doing? Got him. Haha, -ha, the bait. I wanted him to. What? What? What am I doing? Okay. So this is about the time where I try to tell you guys a story. And as I said in a squid stuff episode, <laughs> this is just so funny because none of these inputs are what I'm trying to do. I'm surprised I made it back to stage. Never mind. Um, so when I was out of town, I was babysitting my cousin. And he played Smash 3DS like the whole time. And he was telling me about the characters. And I was like, yo, bud, who are the best characters in the game? Like, type me up a tier list. Bibliography required. Cite your works. And he said, okay. Um, the best character in the game is either Mewtwo or Ryu. And the second best is Olimar. Then there's everyone else. Then I'd probably say Bowser because he's a bad guy. And Jigglypuff because she doesn't have a recovery. And I was like, all right, that's pretty solid. And then he started playing Olimar more, and I told him uh, that the Olimar's Pikmin have different properties. And he was like, actually, I think Olimar is the best character. 
Because you have one Olimar, and then you have like three little Olimars behind you. So this is the best character, because you have the most characters. And I was like, you know what? I guess you're right. Who can argue with that logic? Olimar is the best character. Like, put it in the books, folks. Okay, back to this game. Um, no, we are even, and this is anybody's game. And it's about to be his game. No, no, I'm coming back with a vengeance. No, I'm not. I don't know how to tech. I don't know how to do anything. I don't know how I lived. Help me, please. I meant to, like, jump forward air because I read his jump off ledge, but I just, like, did a side tilt. And... Okay. All right. I'm gonna go get a drink of water real quick because wireless controller is hell yeah. All right, I'm back. Good to see nothing has changed. Hopefully I'll time him out. And by time him out, I mean he'll turn into a level one AI. That's the dream. Um, all right, he moved, nothing happened. All right, did I waste all this for nothing? No, I had to win this. I stayed persistent. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. Nope, uh, uh, that, 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 that. Can't win them all. All right, I'm Little Mac because I feel like I can press less buttons and win. And I'm playing against Ike the Mario. And if you guys watch my classic mode series where I try to beat 9.0 classic mode, you know that Ike and I are not friends. So I'm gonna take out my anger on this Ike. He's probably just like a six year old boy named Ike, but I'm sorry that he has to live through this. And I'm giving him the ultimate mix-ups, which is side B to side B to side B. He cannot deal with these right now. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Up. Ah. Ooh, he read that counter. And by read, I mean reacted. Okay. I just need to get an another attack. There we go. One more side B. No, jump into it. Perfect. Uh, no, he's living. I just want everyone to die except me so I can be the best at this game. So, guys, if you fail and fail at a video game, just realize that genocide is still a reliable option. Because you can't lose during that. You can only die trying. Um, so back to not sociopathic tendencies. I just got a first stock. And now I just need to close the second one out and the game's mine. Ha ha ha. That mix up. I got him. He can't do anything now except that. Uh. <sighs> okay. So he read Little Mac's two recovery options. Good job, Ike. Okay. Okay. I can win this. I can win this. It's an even game. And he punished that really well with the dash attack. And Mario is too little for me. That's not fair. Uh, uh, fuck you, armor boys. Ah. 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 Anti-air. Anti-air. Ha ha ha. I'm the best. Fuck you, Ike. You think you can fuck with me? I'll show you how to fuck with me by fucking with you, you fuck boy. I'm gonna drink my water now. So, if you guys haven't heard of the best channel, Can I Sit With You? You should go to my profile and view it in my featured box because it's a collaboration of me, Magic Scrumpy, and Rat7. And we have great videos like this. Wasn't that a great video? I don't know which one I'm going to show yet, but... There you go. It's a great video. I mean, we have so many great videos. One day we uploaded 23 videos, and I think the next we uploaded like 16. 
So just so you know, we always have videos. And what the fuck is Ike doing? He is going in this round. Like, I had a pretty good lead the whole time last game. But he is, he is going in. Oh my god, he is, like, punishing things. What is, what is Ike doing? He's reading my dash attack and a dash attack and a dash attack. Oh my god, I'm scared now. Ike handed it off to his big brother. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Was he just sandbagging? Is he trying to get in the video? He's like, I'm gonna lose once and then kick his ass. Okay. Okay. No, he's trying to cape me. I see him. He thinks Lil Mac can go that high. Alright, here we go. Ah, no. He's at 6%. Now fuck your 6%. Now I'm at 6%. I can't be beaten. Uh-oh. I'm beaten. Don't get the cape! <sighs> okay. All right, so I see that Ike thinks he can beat me, and we're out of time for this episode. So for the next episode, I'm going to keep playing Ike until I beat him. So I hope you guys enjoy me kicking Ike's ass eventually. Maybe So the next episode might be 3 minutes, might be 15. We shall see.